Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health and today we're bringing you another episode of Science Powered Fitness and this episode is going to be on mental health and emotional health and exercise. Ultimately, we know that exercise is critical to help with seasonal depression or maintaining our mood and disposition during the winter. Obviously, we're getting into the fall here and, and with the reduction in the sun and with cold temperatures, we can't get outside as much, we can't exercise outside as much, and so sometimes our exercise um, volumes go down. And there's lots of research out there that shows that exercise is critical for helping to maintain positive emotional disposition or reduction of depression. So we wanna make sure that we maintain minimum amounts of exercise during the week. And there are some requirements that they put out there to help with depression. And, and so they've required or said that, again, if you do about 120 minutes of cardio a week or about 70 uh, minutes of harder cardio or three strength workouts a week, that this helps with reducing, you know, basically depression. Now, why? Well, you're going to get endorphins. So these are feel-good chemicals in the body. You're also going to improve neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine. And those are, again, chemicals in the brain that help you feel good. Um, it's going to reduce inflammation. So catecholamines and stress hormones are going to be reduced. And then ultimately, we can help with the, um, the circulation and blood flow so that we get more oxygen and blood flow to our brain, which, again, makes us feel better and improves our mental acuity. So all sorts of reasons why strength training and exercise are going to benefit you and help you feel better. So. Any questions on any of this, make sure to reach out to us at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. We do have dietitians on staff. We talk about sleep and quality with water and all the things that you can do to help with your emotional disposition. But there are resources out there, and we want to make sure you know that they are available. So reach out to us, and remember, your body is designed to move, so stay in motion. And once again, this was Ryan with Fluid Health. We'll talk to you soon.